one back at it again with another trial video. New update, new trial, let's jump into it. This is just a general guide so you get your EX++ rewards here. Uh, here's the reward tracker, let's jump into it. Now this specific trial you want to maximize your singular unit DPS opportunity. So I'm going to run Mateo and Young Chuan because they're both singular DPSs. Um, and yeah, this event music, bro, has no reason going this hard. Just listen to it. Here's the team I'm going to dive in with. Make sure you have the uh, best equipped equipment for your espers. Um, Ahmed could go on ocean waves, to be honest. Um, yeah, let me fix that real quick. Let me fix uh, Sienna's and Ahmed's equipment real quick. Uh, here's my equipment. Uh, pretty attainable I would like to believe I try to make all my equipment that I use to complete uh, my videos at least slightly obtainable or realistic for the most uh, part of the player base um, not that my relics are exceptionally good or anything but try to make them accessible for the greater majority of people that watch my video so here's the equipment that I'm gonna use now, for this trial specifically, if you want to read the uh, boss effects, um, I'll let you pause on it. TLDR, keep the boss debuffed. Don't let these minions die quickly, if at all obtainable. So you want to use AoE AP manipulation, but your DPS needs to be single target nukers. So that's why we're bringing Young Chuan and Mateo. And uh, let's jump into this. As you can see here, he just siphoned health from his minions, so that's why you want to keep them alive and not do extra damage. Because if you kill the minions, if both of the minions die from him siphoning the health or you killing them, then he'll get invulnerability for 10, turn 10 hits. But his speed is so high that you can barely get in there to snag a hit uh, back to the gameplay here
and we're not going to use Eras <clears throat> S3 here, excuse me, we're not going to use Eras S3 here because that would end up killing one of the minions, and we don't want that. We're almost at EX++, so let's not ruin the run for no reason. He will probably kill them this rotation anyway. Alright, so now that both of them are dead, I can use Young Chuan's S3, which gives speed up to the whole team. Um, and you'll see here, since these minions are dead, once this guy gets his turn, he will have the uh, invulnerability buff. Uh, like Fafnir has, where you have to hit him a certain amount of times, which is 10 times, um, to do damage to him, because he'll be invulnerable. But we're just going for EX++ here, so. And we almost have that. See, at the top left here, you can see that he has invuln. Right here. Back to the gameplay. And the reason we're bringing Ahmed is to keep everybody's HP above 80%. Because as you can see here, after attacking, if any AP, if any enemy's HP is below 80%, below 80%, geez, I can't speak, cast this ability for an extra one time. Which just eats up the turn order and kills your team. Back to the gameplay. And there you have it, EX++, baby! Let's go! This is just uh, pre -up post-update uh, gameplay here, so I'm sure the meta will shift uh, as more strategies come out and the stage rule changes. So make sure you pay attention to the stage rule. Um, I didn't really get that many assists. Um... 20% chance of performing a pursuit attack on the target after his teammate uses a basic ability. So you could put Sienna on Astral and make that way easier, which I probably should have done, but uh, we still squeaked it out, didn't we? Uh, hopefully this guide helps you at least a little bit. Make sure you pay attention to the stage rule. Give this video a like and subscribe if it helped you. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the update and get good pulls. Peace!